document the Tani Emperor life cycle. Look at the pyramid. They make a Let's go, let's go, let's go. that, baby. I see the Tawny. She's let's go. been evading me. Can you point it where it is? Oh, Bingo. yeah. <laughs> Woo. That was so fast. Oh, yeah, man. That's my girl right there, y'all. That's my girl. I'm gonna feed her when I get home. I'm gonna take such good care of you, <laughs> sweetheart. All those male Tawny Emperors, they got nothing on me. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Okie dokie. Yep. Okay, uh, guys, we're gonna, we need to get eggs from our Tawny Emperors. And so what we need is Hackberry. Hackberry are these trees that are basically making up the entire canopy of this hammock. And so that's why there's so many of them here. What we need is some fresh hackberry leaves uh, like this. This looks great right here, guys. See this right here? Nice fresh hackberry leaves. This is uh, Celtus. And I'm going to use a knife. Always keep a knife with me. And I am going to I'm going to cut some hackberry and that stem should be big enough for me to put in a container with the tawny emperors so that we can get some eggs. And guys, I'm going to do the same thing with the question marks plant and we'll get it going guys. So I'm going to bring these stems back to my truck. Sorry for the noise, there's a pump going right there. I wish I could have picked a better, quieter spot to do my video. But ultimately, I'm going to close my knife so I don't hurt myself, put it away. And then I have a, a garbage bag here. Actually, you know what? I don't know if I like the garbage bag. It has like this lavender smell on it. My wife likes it because it makes the garbage smell better. But I'll tell you what I'm going to do. Instead of using that, I'm going to use a gallon Ziploc bag and just try to jam it in there. Because I don't know if the chemical that they put in for the lavender will mess up the smell of the butterfly to egg, lay eggs on the hackberry. So I'm going to put a little bit of water in the Ziploc bag. And let's see how I do this. We'll see if this all fits. I'm gonna bend the stems. <clears throat> Try to slide them inside. Yeah, we fit. We fit. Just gonna try and zip this up. Hackberry's another tree that is tough. Uh, it will wilt pretty quickly. I got all my hackberry stems in one bag. I'm gonna pop them in my cooler. And when we get home, We'll set them up for some egg laying. Awesome. Well, I'm gonna use this this time. gonna cut
And then I'm just gonna take my glue gun. All right, I've got hackberry that I cut at the site where we found these girls. And nice growth, had it in some water. It's looking pretty good. One thing you wanna make sure before you put anything like this inside, you gotta make sure there's no spiders <laughs> or predators in your, in your container, which there was a spider right there, so. All right, so I have, I have hackberry on the very surface of this thing, on the very top, and all the way down, including down the bottom. So if the butterfly gets lodged down here, it has something to crawl up on. So now it's just, it's okay. This is, I'm almost done. I'm just putting these girls in here. I'm gonna put these girls in here and hopefully, hopefully they quick lay me some eggs. And then what I do is I put the top on. And these air vents here, which we created, will keep the container from sweating too much. So hopefully we'll put this in the I'll put this in a window sill so it has some dappled sunlight. And we'll see if we can get these girls to begin laying eggs. I'll put it right here. And we'll see if we'll see if they produce any eggs for us. Had them inside, and obviously that's the safest thing to do for so the ants won't get them. But that's not the safest thing to do in order to get eggs, because they need a little bit of warmth. They need a little bit of dappled sunlight. Like a, it's an afternoon sun. Sun's setting right over my roof right here. So this is, they're just out of the sun line. You don't want them in direct sunlight, but I'm hoping that this butterfly here will taste the host plant and start curling that abdomen, get ready to lay some eggs. That would be fantastic. Now let's see what happens. All right, guys, super exciting moment. Uh, <laughs> when we were, I had these, this Tawny Emperor female in this container for the last four days, and I kept checking the plant, and there's no signs of eggs. But today was a great day because I looked on the paper towel, and look at what she did on the paper towel, guys. Right there, I've got... I'm guessing a hundred Tawny Emperor eggs sitting on the paper towel and that's super exciting. Actually, I've got some question mark eggs right next to it. It's got a question mark in the same container, but um, that's super exciting guys because now we're going to be able to document the Tawny Emperor life cycle. Look at the pyramid. They make a pyramid of, of eggs and they just sit there in one spot and lay and lay and lay until they get this pyramid thing going. 
Oh man, it's so exciting. Guys, I'm, I'm excited. We're gonna show you this beautiful butterfly's life cycle coming shortly. Thank you. 